Hey, welcome back to another episode for Life for Living Well. My name is Richard, as we normally say when we start this podcast. Before I dive in, I'll give you the topic that I have this week. If you are new to this channel and you would like to know what Life for Living Well do of those as a group, you can find out on our website at www.lifeforlivingwell.com. If you also like to sign up for our weekly articles, if you are kind that you like to read what you listen to as well, we also send out every week the article that we release as part of the podcast. You can just put your email on sign up on our subscriber email on the on the website so you can check it out again is www.lifeforlivingware.com we also have the facebook where we post inspirational messages codes or something relating to the podcast weekly and if you like to know more about it you can check it out on the Facebook, I uh, just search for Life for Living Wear and then you should take you to our Facebook page. Uh, you may also like to see the video blog of this podcast on the YouTube channel as well. So if you just search for Life for Living Wear.com and if you sign up, you will or you will get the update every time we publish a new video on the channel. And thank you for your support. Thank you for listening. So let's get diving without taking much of your time. So this week, uh, the topic we're looking at is what we call what are the benefits of deliberate practice over a routine? Again, I put it, what are the benefits of deliberate practice over routine? As we normally start the podcast, we look into one individual quote and we use that quote to start the message that we wanted to present out there. So this week I'm taking from Joko Wing Inc. And so the put the quote this way. The more you practice, the better you get, the more freedom you are. To create so if you really want to create become creative in whatever area of your life and and I feel like most people have not been using their superpower of being a co-creators so there's another way you should look into it the more you practice what you really want to do the better you become at it and that's what Joko we Inc. stated. So I'm going to dive into the to the main podcast, and and I'm going to build on top of this or uh, of the quotation I just stated above. So let's get dive into it. So over the years, there has been an emphasis on routine, and it's kind of he stated the time you have to wake up, you maybe you have to wake up exactly particular time in the morning or, or what you need to eat or how you need to dress or how you need to speak and you meticulously follow this throughout the journey and even the amount of work you have to take daily. So people follow the, sometimes they could easily follow it blindly without able to take accountability or being reflective about what they need to achieve by doing that or what did they actually achieve for the period that they've been doing that. So in the long term, what are the impacts on our well-being? Of the routine we've chosen. What seems to happen is the lack of reflection on what you have been doing because you soak up the routine. 
you could fall into your routine so much that it is impossible to separate you from it. When people see you, they know you for certain things. But is it really work for you? Is it really working for you? Is it suiting you? Is it relevant to your life right now? And only when we're able to comfortably answer all those questions, we may say, yes, it's working for me. Some people have a particular way of reacting to others. And it's the pattern that they have developed a long, long time ago, maybe right from their teenage life. But when they became adult, they're no longer a teenager, but they still get enslaved with that mindset. They're reacting the same way. Either they screaming, or they shout out, or they walk out, or they just go silent by not connecting. For how long? But that's how they deal with frustration. That's how they deal with disagreement. So, this podcast is not against routine. Clearly, routine has its place in our life. And many of us do have some routines that we follow. However, deliberate practice, we examine the benefit derived from it. So, the main purpose of the podcast is to show you that if you want to get something tangible done or achieved, you may want to consider deliberate practice over the routine. And I will show you why you should give it a try. If it's something that you have not thought of, if it's not something that you didn't know how to do it, if it's something that perhaps you don't know anyone that do deliberate practice, even though they're always all around us. We see them, when we walk to the supermarket, when we walk to our work, when we walk to school, we will see a lot of them in our TV. We see them around us. Even they might be our family members. However, deliberate practice could bring many benefits to our life. As humans, we are characterized by habits, and most of these habits develop over time, often because of our routines. We particularly like to do things a certain way, and we attach to it. And it takes a lot of courage to actually decide that this particular way of seeing things, thinking, doing things, reacting, probably not right for me right now. It takes a lot of mind shift to get to that point. Mostly when I meet people, the first thing I wanted to establish is to understand where they're coming from. Second is to understand their psychology. Third is to understand how they think. I pay little attention to how they act. Because most people react to things around them. And the purpose of life is to go through a series of events in our life. Those are some of these events may be very unpleasant some may be very pleasant but at the end of the day their whole event is the adjective that we put in front of them that determine how we felt or feel about it And this event determines whether we come out of it more wiser 
or foolish. Often majority do not come out wiser. They develop routine which turn out to the habit that actually hold them back. One of my favorite meditation guide is what stoic use a lot and sage uses some sage even go to bear ground to remind themselves how immortal they are how death could come anytime and when you know that you will depart this place one day does it really matter to be hungry for the rest of your life so what the purpose you've stopped experienced life one event that caused almost pain block you away from the experience another more events that may have come so this is what deliberate practice will put us it doesn't mean that we will not feel the pain it doesn't mean that we will not go through challenges it does mean that we are able to prepare to confront it and to allow it be that period of stress is very uncomfortable very uncomfortable but it's not the period that go forever unless we allow it when we develop routine that allow us to hold in on to pain forever we allow it we perpetually find ourselves in a sadness and unhappy zone but when we deliberately practice intentionally practice letting go we begin to have the opportunity to express life to the fullest event that is uncomfortable and pleasant comes we also able to let release it and let go so there are a few things and mostly it is psychological so what happened to people that are so lost in their routine follow it blindly is they lack the courage to confront it and even when they try to do it, what normally mostly come for them is psychological pain. And that is the pain that the other people cannot see. You are the one that can only feel it because it's come within you. And it's really painful than the physical pain. Many people run away from psychological pain. So often the inability to reflect on why you are doing what you are doing people have routines in many areas of their life such as a relationship finances even work interpersonal relationships and businesses and many other areas they have the code of conduct. There is a arbitrary code of conduct that is necessary because if you don't have that, everyone will just do what they want and then it becomes chaos for everybody. And then other people or your interests will be violated. But the one this message is focused on is the routine that we created deliberately for the place or for the point of pains to the point that we put everybody into one group or different group and then we deal with them from that level rather than have the opportunity to connect opportunity to understand opportunity to have a relationship so what happens when routine is disrupted? A 
as I said, what normally happens when you disrupt someone that live their life on blindly follow a routine is they lack, they feel unbalanced, which is psychological pain. They may even go deeper into their routine. The more you try to put them out of it, the more they get deeper into it. Because that's the only thing they know. That's how they act all their life. So they cannot separate themselves from their routine. Their routine become them and they became their routine. Sometimes I used to test myself. When I do something that I really, really love, suddenly I stop for a few days and I start beginning to pay attention to how that makes me feel. If I feel uncomfortable, like withdraw symptoms, the shaking, panic, or fear of mixing out, then I know that this is the opportunity for me to work within myself. So I wanted to know why this particular event that I wasn't getting involved for a while made me feel this way. Then I realized that I was actually using it rather than dealing with root of or cause of my pain, which is not the event that I withdraw from because I'm using that event to cope with things that I'm running away from. So also is an opportunity for personal and spiritual growth. But when you are not able to do this and you constantly look up and just embezzle yourself into it, it looks good, but it doesn't really give you the vitality of life. Because you don't really prepare for things that you are not able to control, but they will come. The Buddhists believe that forces within us create life. You say when a woman is pregnant and they give to a bath, a baby. But the forces outside is deadly. You know when you pull smash the egg, you probably destroy the life inside the egg. So the same thing we where we've blindly lost in our routine. Because follow routine to this way, it made it difficult for us to give account, to be more reflective about what we are doing while we are doing it. And when the disruption comes, it's also make people lacking the courage to change direction in some cases. So, for that reason, the sage emphasize more on deliberate practice rather than routine. So, now, Let's quickly look at the four benefits that I put down for deliberate practice and how it can encourage us to consider a deliberate practice over routine. Help you focus. So, with deliberate practice, you often have an intentional goal because when you chose to practice deliberately one of the things that clear is clarity of purpose you know why am i doing this what did i want to achieve what is the time frame for achieving this so this is about achieving things achieving goals so that's what deliberate practice so if your aim is to become to read 10 book in one year you might say each month I want to read one book and each week if you are 10 pages in the book you might say every 
two two days i want to read two or one chapter and i want to finish one book in a month it's different to say i want to read 10 books in 2024 no you also need to break it down how you going to do that and be more accountable with your time do you really have the time to do that or you have the time but you lost in your routine to the point that you are not able to break your time down and break in and create time do you spend more time that you work all day by the time you get to six o'clock you're so tired i fall into that trap sometimes and you just glue on your tv until the bed comes until you decided it's time to go to the bed and you start the same pattern of behavior the next day is that how you live your life and then the four or five hours you spend to watch tv you only just need one hour to just bury your head and read the book you want to read it probably provide more insight into your life and what you need to do and also you also able to decide what kind of book you want to read what area you want to develop maybe you want to develop skills in your field of choosing what what area you struggle with what book what audio what video you need to watch what class you need to go how do you do that maybe you want to know more about finances what book can you use as a mentoring to help you to understand how why you spend your money the way you spend it so these are the things that deliberate practice help us but routine lack the power to do this and then when you embrace deliberate practice you also able to set a, a tangible stress challenging and achievable goals and you become accountable for it even when you cannot meet that goals he encourage you to give a little more effort into it number two good habit as routine create habit for us deliberate practice also an habit can emerge from it so things, anything you do for a couple of weeks, it just become part of you. You become excellent with it. It's one of the great philosophers that said, excellent is not an art, but it's what we do. And to get to that level, it means that you have embracing a deliberate number of times of practice and it becomes natural for you. So for those who drive a car, you can testify to this. The moment you pass through the level of learning how to drive and you pass your exam and you've been driving for couples of months or years, so what comes naturally, you no longer look into the yeah, you no longer look into the clutch, you no longer worry, am I going to stop the car? You just know that what you have to do and just come natural. The same thing with good habits. So if you follow routine, if you have a routine in place, habit will emerge from it. If you also follow deliberate practice, habit will emerge from it, but you have more possibility to develop a good habit from deliberate practice why because it is so intentional and you have the clarity of goals what you wanted to make happen and by by this you also able to solidify your strength so that takes me to number three motivation and passion so you are awakening the passion within you as you can see the result of your deliberate practice you are motivated to improve yourself and develop your skills that's what deliberate practice will do for you and lastly 
develop expertise. The benefit and the result that come from deliberate practice is because you become a better individual in whatever field that you are focused your resources, your attention, your practice on. If you want to make cherry bread and the number of attempts that you make cherry bread, reading about it, watching video about it, improving little little step about it, one day or particular time it come out that the people will say, oh my god, your cherry bread is the best I ever tasted, but they have no idea how much effort and emphasis you put to it. But if you follow routine and you just make cherry bread and you don't really care about the feedback and you don't really set a goal how quality of cherry bread you want to make, you just continue to do cherry bread the way you know it and there is no motivation to do to improve because you already in your mind that's the cherry bread and just have it that way and this is what deliberate practice does because it creates compassion so you set a particular goal it's not necessarily that the time that you set you will be able to achieve that but you will never be in the same place you are when you set that time so if you say the first two hours when I wake up in the morning is the hour I want to spend all myself, all my project. So you have to define what do you mean on yourself? Do you mean get a cup of coffee, read a few pages in your book, or go for a walk or go for a run? Or do you so these are the things, and you measure why you do all those things. What do you want it to intend? What is it that make you decide that you want to wake up an hour or two hours before you start your day? So these are what deliberate practice does for us. And it also help us develop expertise in many different fields. So finally, it is important to embrace the benefit that deliberate practice bring into your life. Why? Because you will bring enormous benefit into your life. So the sages often practice deliberately and the application of it can be seen in their daily life. So I hope this message helps someone. And if you like to know more about this community, Life for Living Well, you can subscribe to it on our YouTube channel at just type Life for Living Well on YouTube channel. It will bring or it will bring you straight to our channel. And this channel is just a new channel and it's still growing. And if you like to receive article weekly, you can just register with your email and then you'll be able to get updates every time we publish a new article out and for for all that thing you can find it on our website and if you have two or one question for us or for me you can send it through our website as well i will be able to get back to you as soon as i can and thank you so much for your time until we meet again have a wonderful week and Please look after yourself. Ciao.